Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 2 of the Chelsea series for Football Manager 2014. Now, for this episode we're taking on Manchester United at Stamford Bridge. Um, as you can see from the league table right now, as things sit, this is a big game for us. We need to win our game in hand to try and kind of climb the ladder a bit. Same situation for Man United. I think out of all the teams in the Premiership that you could consider big teams, we're lowest out of all of them. So... We certainly need to get a good result against Man United. But in terms of uh, games that we've played leading up to this match since last episode against Celtic, um, we lost 1-0 to Liverpool. Steven Gerrard got sent off in the second minute. So we basically had 11 men against 10 for 90 minutes, if you include extra time. And we just couldn't score against them. Uh, they scored in the 40th minute, which was a bit of a kick in the teeth. But, um, yeah, we just couldn't see them score against them. We didn't particularly play well. Uh, they did play better. After that, we played Hull and got a 2-0 win. Chalba got his first goal for the club. Um, I think this season could be his breakout season where he really shows how good he is and goes on to be world-class, really. Um, after that, though, we played West Ham, got a 2-1 win. Lukaku scored two goals. He missed a penalty, so he missed out on getting his hat-trick. Uh, a very good performance from him, though. Chalba, again, another good game. Um, two games in a row, he's had very good games. This is why I feel that he is going to be a star for us. Uh, after that, though, we played Olympiacos, a 3-1 win. Um, the goal that uh, you know we conceded, I think, was more defensive error rather than their skill. But good performances from Willian, Hazard, Mata and Dede. Hopefully, though, we can get a good result against Man United. They've got uh, Raphael and Fellaini suspended. We'll find out who's injured. Smalling, Cleverly and Welbeck are all injured. So that could pose some problems for them in terms of uh, you know selection. But uh, only player... Unavailable for us is Dede. He's out with a, thro a thigh strain. In terms of our past encounters against Man United, lost both times. Uh, lost 3-0 the first time and then lost 4-2 the second time. So, yeah, that's got to change. Hopefully we can break that. United haven't been at their best as they were last season. Uh, I think they've lost two games so far this season. But um, hopefully we can make it three. But the starting lineup for us today is Tessegan in goal in defence. Asbel Quater, Terry, Omaru and Peruzzi. Chalba and Kendera will start in the centre with Hazard, Mata and Willian in the attacking midfield. Lukaku up front. Still a strong team. Uh, strong starting line. Man United did sign this guy. Angel Di Maria. They signed him for £39 million. Um, I'll just show you their transfers as well before we start this match. Uh, they signed Roy Stewart, a young defensive midfielder. Uh, Papadopoulos, who is a phenomenal young defender. Um, fitness issues though, that's kind of what deterred me from wanting to, to sign him because of fitness issues. I still don't think he's appeared for them yet and that's a bit odd. Uh, they signed Nigel Lockett as well. Um, no, another defensive midfielder. And then Angel Di Maria, £39 million. So, yeah, we'll get to see if he was really worth that £39 million. Um, hopefully he isn't. Alright, get a good response from the team as we always try to do. I think if you can give your players belief. You know, they have faith in themselves and they do better. Three good responses, right. Can we finally break our Man United curse? Because that's what I'd call it. Can do it out to Peruzzi. who's settled in pretty well. Williams starting to establish himself more as a first team player for me. Especially down the right side of the attack midfield. This is Terry. Now Chalva. Lukaku trying to get onto the end of it. It's cleared by Lingard. I think if we test him enough, we can, we can score against him. I think De Gea is definitely a better goalkeeper than him. So I'm happy in that aspect that he's not playing. But this is Kagawa. Looking for the cross. Van Persie. Hit the post. Right, let's get it away. Di Maria. Getting closed down by two, but it's now Jones to Fletcher. Oh, Van Persie's picked up an injury. Hmm, now, will United substitute him off? Because they've got the quality on the bench. 
I don't know if Van Persie will play on, but... Rio Ferdinand given a yellow card. This is the only game as well. Um, no other Premiership teams are playing. So, like I said, this is for both teams a game in hand, which could definitely improve either team's uh, position in the league a great deal. It's Evans, Nakagawa. Van Persie in the centre. Room for Pajanic. This is dangerous. Hit the post. Azpilicueta with the clearance. Peruzzi with the clearance, sorry. Lukaku headers it to Mata. Challenged by Fletcher. Now Carrick to Kagawa again. Right, we don't want that happening. Because that's, that's not a way to play against Man United. Because they will score goals. Azpilicueta with a lovely challenge. Mata out to William. Right, let's try and break him down a bit. He's running it down the right side of the midfield. Mata. Run through centre. Hazard's there. Good challenge. And Jones clears it away. That was a little bit better in terms of passing and movement. I think if we can just grab a 1-0 lead going into the second half, that would be perfect. But it's Fletcher. It's dangerous. Good challenge again, Azpilicueta with the clearance, Ferdinand to Jones, now Fletcher again. They ain't giving us time to breathe, Jones. Clearance, now Hazard to Mata in the midfield. Come on, I hit him on the break, Lukaku. Still Lukaku, three around him. Oh, that was a good challenge, out for a corner. Hazard to whip it in. Headed away by Vidic, now Hazard again. Ah, oh, Matter was there, but just couldn't get to him. It's Di Maria. Now Fletcher. They're gradually pushing their midfield up. I'm expecting Di Maria to leg it down the wing. Van Persie did well stay on side, but Terry closed it down. Wow, this is quite a quite a game so far. I think in terms of who's played better, I'd say them. Van Persie, Bajanic. Oh shit. Damn. Well, as I was saying, it was going well. It then goes bad. That's Sod's Law. Um, yeah, Van Persie with the run. Pajanic completely open. Like, no one even near him to defend. I can't really fault to Stegen for that. Still time to grab one. Going in at 1 all, it would be better than going down 1 0 for the second half. Kandira battling for it for Mata. Now Lukaku lays it to Willian. So many, just they just closed around him so quick. Kagawa going straight down the left now. Van Persie shot saved out for a corner. Oh god, man, I'm going to give my players a proper turn off because this ain't good. Jana with the corner. I think if we go down 2-0 for the start of the second half, we're going to be in deep trouble. But 1-0. Uh, right. Good response from the players. Hopefully that will um, kind of play an impact. We need to have a hell of a better second half than we did first half or... I can see Man United winning this game 3, maybe 4 nil. We saw it against Swansea, so... Yeah, we, we really need to to win this game. We can't afford to keep dropping points to main rivals. Um, Chalba's having a bit of a bad game. We'll get him off for Ramirez. Hazard off for Shurrell. William off for Oscar. So basically, just going to kind of try and freshen up the attack, see if we can do something. Even if we get a draw, that will still be better than a loss. The substitutes I'm bringing on, they're capable. They're capable of uh, making an impact on this game. It's Terry with the free kick to Omaru. Oh, lovely pass to Lukaku. Oh, saved. Oh, <laughs> 
That was such a lovely, lovely assist for Luka uh, for uh, Omaru there. And Lukaku just couldn't finish it. Pachanic with the free kick. Head away and now it's Lukaku. This is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Come on, Lukaku. Come on. Ah, oh, why? Why? You could have laid it off. I think it was Shura running down the left, number 14. Yeah, it was. Damn. She could have laid it off for him. That would have probably been a goal. Maria's on a yellow card. Oh, come on. Damn. Well, a 1-0 loss, which isn't good enough whatsoever, really. Um, Terry got mad of the match, but... You know, 7.4 rating. It's never a good sign when your highest rated player in your team at the end of a match is at 7.4. Um, if he got mad of the match, that must mean Man United's team played pretty bad. See, Pajanic got 7.4. And a goal. See, I would have said he would probably have got mad of the match, but either way you look at it, a, a poor performance. You know, again, we've dropped points to key rivals in the Premiership race. Um, the way the league sits right now, Arsenal are first with 19 points. Man City second in eight, with 18 points. United move up to third with 16 points. Tottenham in fourth with 15 points. Liverpool in fifth with 13. Southampton in sixth with 12 we're in 7th place with 12 points as well. So, yeah, we really need to pick our game up. But that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching and take care.